Hi, this is Josh from MYOB Enterprise Solutions. This video is a look at the automated warehouse operations available in MYOB Advanced. Using a handheld scanner or the MYOB Advanced smartphone app, warehouse employees can complete their tasks quickly and easily using special screens that automatically change modes as they work through the process. Automating warehouse operations reduces the number of errors and elevates the way you manage your inventory and warehouse. Cut back on tedious tasks and paperwork as you no longer need to print out picking lists. This automation and the increased accuracy it brings can also result in improving the customer experience having the right goods delivered at the right time. When goods arrive at a warehouse, staff can process the receipt of the goods using the Receive and Put Away screen. Like all the automated warehouse screens, this screen displays prompts that tell the employee what they need to do to move through the process. In this case, the employee must first enter the ID of the purchase receipt for the goods. While they can type the information into the scan field here, in an automated warehouse operation scenario, this would normally be entered by scanning a barcode. Once the receipt's been identified, for each item that's being received, the employee scans a barcode identifying the receiving location, and then scans the item's barcode. Depending on how your organization is set up, there may be extra steps like supplying serial numbers, expiry dates, or item quantities. These can all be entered by scanning barcodes as well. Once all the items being received have been scanned in, use the Release Receipt button, or scan a special barcode that triggers that function, to mark all of the received lines as complete and release the purchase order. The process for shipping goods out of a warehouse works in much the same way. On the Pick, Pack and Ship screen, the employee enters or scans a shipment number from the pick list, then scans the barcode of the item being picked. If a serial number or quantity needs to be entered, this can be done at this stage, then the employee moves on to the packing stage. Special commands, which again can be entered by scanning a barcode, let employees switch between the operations they need to perform on one screen, or even switch between screens. In this case, the pack command puts the pick, pack and ship screen into pack mode. Once the screen is in this mode, the employee scans the barcode of the box that items will be packed in. If they'd started the operation in pack mode, they'd have to enter the ship number. Since they've come directly from pick mode though, the shipment is selected automatically. Next, they scan the barcodes for each item being packed in this box. Once all of the items to be packed have been scanned, the employee can either begin the process again to pack a new box, or confirm and continue to shipping mode by entering or scanning the ship command. In ship mode, the final step in the process, the employee enters or scans the shipment number if necessary, and optionally scans the ID of a carrier. Confirm the shipment and the process is complete. Automated warehouse operation screens are also available for performing various inventory management tasks and generating the necessary documents. You can use the Scan and Count screen to perform a count of physical inventory quickly and easily. The Scan and Issue screen lets you issue inventory items from a warehouse and create an issue transaction in the system. The Scan and Receive screen lets you perform the automated receipt of inventory items, generating a receipt transaction. And finally, with the Scan and Transfer screen, you can process the transfer of inventory items from one location to another, generating an inventory transfer document. The workflows we've seen here show just some of the possibilities for automating warehouse operations. Depending on how your system is configured, you can add or skip steps in the process so that your automated warehouse operations include only those tasks that apply to your organization. The three preferences screens that apply to warehouse operations, purchase order preferences, sales order preferences, and inventory preferences, contain options that let you turn various modes on and off and set default values. So far, we've looked at automated warehouse operations in the standard MYOB Advanced web interface, but all of the operations you've seen can also be performed using the MYOB Advanced smartphone app. Each of the automated warehouse operations screens are available in the app, with the results of each scan appearing on a separate tab. Changing modes or screens can be done by scanning a command barcode or by using the app's Change Mode button. You can even use the phone's camera to scan barcodes instead of using a handheld scanner. All receiving, shipping and infantry operations are available. Using the MYOB Advanced Smartphone app in place of a scanner has several advantages. Running barcode scanning from your smartphone minimizes the number of errors when picking and recording warehouse items. By having this information in one place, from when a salesperson enters a sales order to when the warehouse is alerted of this order, you can ensure the accuracy of your inventory and order processing. Warehouse employees are alerted if they scan an item that shouldn't have been picked and if they've picked too many of an item. Not only this, but by using the smartphone app you no longer need to purchase or rely on other devices. And that concludes our look at the automated warehouse operations features in MYOB Advanced. 
These features offer a range of customizable workflows that can let your warehouse staff perform common actions quickly and easily. Thanks for watching.